So you're like me, you wanna eat more steak. I wanna eat steak all the time. I wanna eat steak every day, every diet, every day for dinner. But you can't do that, it gets expensive. I can't be having a, a tenderloin or a ribeye every night. I have a solution for you. I have this secret butcher's cut that not a lot of people know about that is tender, flavorful, and cheap. What is this steak you're asking yourself? It is called the Terrace Major. You've probably never heard of a Terrace Major. Maybe if you're a physical therapist, you've heard of it because if you go on YouTube and you start to, um, you start to search for Terrace Major, most of the videos are of physical therapy on humans. It is a muscle that is deep inside the chuck cut of beef. It looks like a little tenderloin. Since it is in the chuck, the muscle gets a lot more work. That cow is walking around all day long. It has developed a little more flavor and it's actually more flavorful than the tenderloin, which doesn't get a lot of work. You can roast it, you can pan sear it, you can slice it really nice. It blends well to any method of cooking. It is so versatile. It is also, because it comes from the chuck, is cheaper. We're talking six to seven dollars a pound rather than 14 plus a pound. The trick is, it's hard to find. We're gonna have to really search. It's not gonna be at every grocery store. We're gonna go on a quest and try to find this elusive cut of meat. Do you have a uh, Terrace Major? Yeah, it's also called, it can be called a chuck tender, shoulder tender. No, you don't know what that is? All right, thank you. After exhaustive searches online, she discovered that it gets pretty pricey when you start to ship all this stuff from online sources. We're gonna have to go local on this one. Do you have a cut of beef called the Terrace Major? It's a cut off of the chuck that is pretty tender. It's kind of like a, almost looks like a little tenderloin. Anything? All right. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Bye. After several failed attempts online and over the phone, we're just going to have to go out into the world and try to find this thing on our own. Let's hit the road. It's so funny, I live in a small to medium sized town in South Carolina. I don't even know where I am. I lived in this town for like 12 years and I still, like where did this all pop up from? It's next in between a sketchy gas station and then a palm reading psychic place. I don't know, but th somewhere in this downtown area that pops up a cool butcher shop. So we're gonna go to this boutique butcher shop and see if they have what we're looking for. All right, so the boutique butcher shop was a pretty good little hole in the wall place to talk to the owner. Like we had a great conversation about just the different cuts that they have and they have a ton of sausages. No Terrace Major, he said I could order it. He also sold me some, uh, like a steak I've never uh, had before called my Newport steak. He said it comes off the sirloin. And um, so I'm gonna give that a try. Again, I think this trip, in order to find the cheap budget Terrace Major steak, I'm gonna end up spending uh, hundreds of dollars all over my town. You know, I'm doing it for you guys. It's gonna be worth it. We're just gonna have to go to a couple places to find it. So let's go to the next spot. Here I am, I'm back to the scene of the crime, the scene of the meat crime. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it here um, in the up card up top. But I'm gonna give Publix another chance. We're gonna try to find this Terrace Major. I don't have high hopes. We're gonna see what we can do. I'm going to every, place that might possibly have this cut of meat. So I am motivated. We're going to do this. Let's see if we can go find it. Nope, no, nope, not happening here. Let's go to the next place. And we find ourselves at Costco. I think all roads in my town lead to Costco. So a lot of the meat that you see on this channel is from Costco. So I'm a big fan. They always have a good selection, and sometimes they even like surprise me with a new something new. So we're gonna give it a shot. Is there any Terrace Major over here? I don't see any, but man, the steaks look good. We struck out. We didn't find the Terrace Major, but as you can see, I did buy a lot of stuff. I know Costco, the reason they check the receipts is to make sure you spend at least $100. Well, I came in for a steak they didn't have, and then I left with $181 of stuff that I may need or may not need. Who knows? This is how this goes. You know how it is at Costco. But one thing I did get, best deal in the whole place, gotta get it on every time. I got a hot dog. 
and a drink, $1.50. It's lunchtime. What do you want me to do? On to the next one. Let's see if they have any steak here. Yeah, can I get a grande flat white, please? Thanks. Got to caffeinate. We got to find the steak. All right, we're going to find this steak. I'm caffeinated. I went to Starbucks. Gosh, we got to find this thing. Um, I don't... I hope it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen, but every time we strike out, I'm really thinking like, oh, maybe this isn't gonna work and I'm gonna have to scrap this whole video. But hey, let's keep the faith. Let's find this steak. Let's let's keep on keeping on. All right, here we go. Next place, let's go. All right, we're pulling into the chef's store that is op completely open to the public. It's kind of like re if you ever heard of Restaurant Depot, but you don't need any kind of membership. You don't need any kind of restaurant. You can just walk in, get these things, and walk out. It's very convenient. Granted, everything here is really big. So you buy, have to buy big amounts of things. Their meat selection is unparalleled. They all have big cuts of meat that are perfect for us at-home butchers, and they have great prices. You do have to buy a big, you have to buy in bulk. But hey, we know how to take care of this. We'll definitely get our money's worth, especially for as much meat as we go through on this channel. So I'm gonna go in and check it out. We found it. The Terrace Major is ours, finally. I've driven all over my town to try to find it and we finally found it. I'm so happy. I can eat this all day long. We are talking $6 a pound for a cut of meat that tastes just like a ten beef tenderloin. You're gonna totally be in love with this cut of meat. It is worth coming to the chef store. Since the chef store is not in every city, I do want to try one more place to try to find a local butcher shop that's gonna have this cut. What are the odds that anyone work who works here is from New York or has that cool mustache? They did actually have the Terrace Major here and I bought one and I forgot to hit record to show y'all. All right, so we were successful in finding the Terrace Major. I found it in very different places. So this big, huge package, 15 pounds of the Terrace Majors. And then also at my local butcher shop, I got this one. Now it's it's already been cleaned, it's individually wrapped. I mean, you pay for that kind of service because this one is about $7 a pound, six or $7 a pound. This one is $13 a pound. So again, you do pay for the extra kind of time and attention, but if you don't have a place you can buy them in bulk and you couldn't find them, this is still a great value. Give this cut a try. And especially if you like stumble upon it in your local grocery store, definitely pick it up. All right, so here is our Terrace Major. It's like a little tiny filet. It has a piece of silver skin here, piece of silver skin there. We'll just take those off super quick. Again, um, back from our filet video, taking the silver skin off is very easy. Get a very sharp knife, boom. Pull it out, make a handle, come back the other way. There's your silver skin. Now remember, the silver skin is called elastin, so it is a connective tissue that connects. Um, it's a very, very strong connective tissue. Now, this right here is inedible. I know there's a bunch of people in the comments in my filet video where said all the things you can do with this. This has little to no value for us because of the fact that it is so tough. I mean, you probably could hang off a building with this if you did it right. Look at this. It's so tough. So it is not something that we are going to keep. But as far as trimming, this is very, very minimal. I'm using my six inch bony knife. Again, all the uh, equipment that I use will be in a link in the description. This cut of meat, this Terrace Major, you can do any kind of cooking method with it because it comes from the chuck. Saute, grill, braise, it really can do it all. I'm gonna grab my cast iron pan. We're gonna sear them up, slice it. It's gonna be delicious. Of course, we're gonna use beef tallow as our fat of choice. Once our pan is screaming hot, we're gonna add our beef tallow. We're gonna sear these one minute or so per side. And then we're gonna pop them in the oven.
about six minutes later, we're going to pull it out, start temping them. Again, I'm pulling mine 115, so it's a nice medium rare after it rests. Let it rest for about five minutes. All righty, here's our Terrace Major. Are you all ready for this? Are you all ready to slice into this puppy? I am so ready to slice into this. All right, here we go. Now, if you like this video, please watch the Big Brother video of the Tenderloin. This is the greatest thing. It's, it's tender like a filet, but it's much, much cheaper. This is something you can have on a regular basis at $7 a pound. I'll see you on the next one.